Six years, I'm a uh, year year down on my master's uh, congratulations program. Congratulations yeah. for making, because that's a big step. Like, you know, yeah. committing to going back to school and you know pursuing masters, and then you know, and like what you've mentioned at you know at, at a certain age, you know, probably like everybody wants to have a chill pill already. Yeah. But for you, you took you know it's like not the blue pill, not the red pill, <laughs> both pills. I guess you took. <laughs> Coming this week on Feeling Sisters. I have a YouTube channel that I started like seven mm -hmm. months ago. I started off with one. It's called Dina Six Let's Talk, Dina Six TV Let's Talk, and the Let's Talk part is is a joke. It's like I'm tired of talking. Uh -huh. You know, let's do this. Talk <laughs> and talk and talk. You know, mm -hmm. let, let's let's do something. Life is all about stepping out of yes. your comfort zone. May it be whatever gender you're at. You know, it's like whatever age you're in. You know, it's like. It is never, there's really no walls out there. We just create it out of our fear. Tune in to new episodes of Feeling Sisters every Sunday on Eat, Read, Love. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. How are you? First of all, it's just gonna be an announcement. So for the OGs, go right away and get your <laughs> tarot reading. Now, um, very few announcements. Um, I'm feeling I have the energy, so let's do the, the whole likes again, okay? But this one is, I just want competition. This is what I want. I want competition. So the videos out of the 12 Zodiac, who has the most likes, okay? And comments. So the comments and the like. So let's just say the 12 Zodiacs, you know, the one, you know, one Zodiac gets a thousand likes, okay? And then the rest are in the hundreds. Then congratulations, you will have a reading with no extended, you and against all the Zodiac also. But I will do that, um, um, you, know, once, uh, you know, once the whole video has been all uploaded. So make sure you comment and you like. I just want to have a competition. This, I have energy. Okay, so that's that. Um, enroll in the webinars. It's coming, okay, for um, uh, the Entrepreneur web, uh, Webinar, okay? So it's in the description box. The two apps that I, uh, I have an affiliate link is in the, in the below right there. One is for astrology, okay? And for your chart and compatibility and all those amazing things that I've been showing. Tutorial will be posted at the same time. And then the other one is a personal planner. It's a personal planner based on own, your own chart you get the transit and you will see it in actual time what you should be doing remedies and rituals you know there are good days there's not so manageable days so it will project you ahead of time it is i use it every day okay so make sure you download it it's going to be down there um and uh, what else uh i feel like oh any kind of uh, personal services okay like if i can clean your house fix your bed all those are going to be available pretty soon no i'm kidding <laughs> for personal services i will be retiring with my tarot reading specifically for per for now okay i will be finishing first everybody um, that doesn't sound nice <laughs> i'll be finishing <laughs> i will finish first Whatever is spending, I'm trying to get catch up on that one. And then I'll be just focusing on the once a week natal chart. Okay, so the birth chart analysis. It's also going to be in the description box if it's available. For the tarot, for now, I am officially retiring for the personal. For now, for now. Who knows? Maybe tomorrow is different. Okay, for now. Because tomorrow is never promised. Yes. <laughs> so that's that one. So I, that won't be available um, tarot classes is going to be there. There's going to be a new classes that I'll be offering pretty soon for tarot classes and also more webinars coming soon. Now, I've taken uh, a chunk of your life already, which is, you know, probably you're dying already for your reading. But as always, thank you very much for supporting this channel and always sending me a lot of love. So keep sharing, keep liking, keep yourself gorgeous. And I'll see you in your reading now. Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. I forgot to mention in the comments what you need. Not in the chat room, you guys are hysterical. You're always putting it in the chat. <laughs> in the comments, the, the tag that you need to post is um, hashtag Libra Daily Tarot. Okay, so hashtag Libra Daily Tarot down there. You know, Sammy, so that you guys can enter. Now, this is just for the most who comment and the most who like. So that's it, plain and simple. Peanut butter and jelly. Mm hmm. Let's start here. I'm going to be doing the you and the other person spread mm -hmm. here and there. And then, but th this is my marrying spread, I call it before for the OGs. Uh, who knows that? And then I put you guys together. I can't. If you guys are going to be together. Okay. So let's see here. 
I'm very bubbly. We have a, we have a, all good reasons to smile and feel good in life. There's so many good news. We just don't see it right now. Okay, just now, just now. Mm hmm. Just now. Okay. So let's see here. Let's see. I'm gonna put you here and then the other person here, but you can always switch it. Yes. Mm. Let's see. The hangman. You got a lot to think about. You're trying to assess a situation. You're trying to see the good in the bad. Because things hasn't been moving or progressing. I call this the fortunate delay. Mm -hmm. Like things would be on hold so that you can prepare. It's a Pisces. Yes. Hangman also shows here, you know, for me it's my compromising card where it's like, what am I gonna, you know, um, do? You know, how much should I give? You know, that card. The Hangman is also show that because you would have to, because um, this is enlightenment, right? Mm -hmm. In order for us to be enlightened, normally we have a tunnel vision, right, Libra? So when you're always thinking like this, you can't see through it. So that's why your world have to be reversed. You will see the other side, right? Plain and simple. When you flip yourself upside down, how does the how does the world look right now? Well, not like right now, okay? Right now it really looks like it's upside down. <laughs> but, but in uh, you know, in essence, right? This is like, oh, trees are different. You know, you also see different things. You see underneath the bed, underneath like those world is different. So you understand me? Okay, so that's a hangman, a very, very simple um, explanation of it. Okay, it's just looking at it in a different perspective. Mm. Mm -hmm. But this is about relationships, so you're thinking about the relationship through and through. Okay, because there's a lot of drama. Hangman with the five of wands. So... You are not sure whether to stay in this situation right now that you're in. You're not sure whether to, um, let me see, to keep this going. Excuse me, I had pancakes. <laughs> so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Five of Wands with the Hangman. You feel the you feel like you would have to give so much in order for this to work out like you have to sacrifice i'm not sure what but you're really thinking i'm gonna have to compromise a lot but how much is a lot right Well, I feel like you just have to let go of your ego. Five of Swords. No, to be honest. Five of Swords with a hangman. You would have to let go of pride. You would have to talk talk it out. Look at my face. Talk it out, Sal. Seriously. I'm done talking about it, Sal. Because I've talked so much. <laughs> Maybe you do. That's the problem. <laughs> As an air sign, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of tea and a lot of shade. So yeah, I'm just saying. Okay. Maybe you did. Mm. Remember, you have to look at it in all sides. Mm. Maybe you did. Two of Swords and a Star card. Mm -hmm. But you really want this to work out. You don't want to give up. Clearly, you made a choice. You would have to open up. You would have to be vulnerable. Get a star card. 
in order for this to heal, because this is a tough decision, to let go of your pride. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I gotta do. Let's go. Let's let me go. Let's go to this person. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. Emails. Let's see. Ace of Cups. Ace, they really do love you. Mm. There's love. That's good. Hmm. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles, they're confident and strong. Because here someone is single, but they're running away from something so that they can be with you. I don't I get I don't understand. Every time like this kind of energy comes to someone's life. Because this is them sneaking to express their feelings. So what? They're always were not expressive? Because they want to offer it. You're going here. They're going here. But they're looking behind them. Because if you drop your ego, this is like someone is catching you. It's like, see, I knew it. Meaning they're going to blame you. It's like, I knew it. You you do want to be back. You want to work this out. Because they have their, have their ego then. It's like, you, Libra. And then they do love you. They want it. See, that's the thing. But then you would have to swallow it up. You know, it's like, fine, fine, fine. Okay, I don't know if that's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get a strength card and a three of pentacles. So they know that it's you who caused the breakup. Yeah. It was you who was difficult. Probably you were not compromising. Again, this is on their end, yeah? Because the strength card here is like you were trying to prove a point. It's like you're muscling them. Wrestling, yeah? I'm not sure what. Okay. All right, to persuade them, to bring them to you, or to open up. Again, this is so itchy. Mm -hmm. But that's what it is looking here. Because Strength Card with Three of Pentacles, they felt like you were being controlling. Mm -hmm. That's what they're feeling. But then, once you admit it, that, okay, fine, I'm gonna open up, you know, Star Card. It's like being hangry and you caused some sort of argument and you guys broke apart because, you know, broke up because, you know, you were just hangry. And... You know, it was a lame reason. They know you caused it, and they know that you have to say apology and you have to swallow your pride. Mm -hmm. And that's a strength card right there with the Three of Pentacles. Because they know, like, you want me, you have feelings for me, we both love each other. Mm. We love you a lot. I have practice with a nine, with a nine, nine of, uh, with the Ace of Cups. They actually want to have uh, you know a strong relationship with you, especially with the Three of Pentacles, because it's building the foundation of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this reading. Okay, follow me all the way to the extended preview, all the way to the end. Everything is gonna be in the description box. The two apps is gonna be there. Also, I said that already. Everything is there. I think so. Right. Okay, so I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Libras. Bye. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is your 17 to the 18, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's begin. I'm doing my astrology spread and also the girl deck. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on for my Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There we go. Let's begin. Got here, Eight of Wands. Oh, where you want to explore. Mm -hmm. This is a spiritual growth. Um, wanting to visit someone, travel, online dating. Um, that's an Eight of Wands. 
um, but I'm seeing here that you probably uh, recently, uh, one, was sending a lot of messages or texting someone, giving them, it's like, you know, a follow-up is what you're doing here. You're giving a follow-up to someone. It's like, hey, do you remember this, this, and that? Um, I'm seeing here also um, the person you're dealing with can be um, loving this kind of uh, follow-up. They like it. They like it. Mm -hmm. um, this is also protecting the connection. You really cherish the energy between you and this person, regardless that you guys are far from each other. Okay. Oh, hello. Ten of Cups is that kind of day, huh? A message of love. The person loves it, I told you. They really, really like what you guys are going through. Um, because I feel that they, um, they like how you are, well, I have to say it, very much into them, okay? Because they're so much into you also. So it's reciprocated. Uh, and as far as like, uh, feelings, you know, and this person sees you, and you, you know, it's a Scorpio energy because they would be in the second house. This person sees you as... You know, it's like before you weren't that really expressive, you were cold and distant. Now, you're really like, oh my God, like Libra really loves me and I love this energy. You know, this is what this person is seeing here. That's good. I really want to mention it but because it's Cupid's arrow, but definitely it is, you know, with the Ten of Cups. Mm-hmm. Um, can be, you know, because the world card is in your third house, this is a... Can be short distance travel or long distance because the world is far. Um, but normally, um, if it's in your third house and the world card is here, um, this is going to be far from you. Okay? And especially that this is coming from a Sag house and Sag house energy is long distance travel. A person also can be a student, a teacher, um, also someone who likes to have a um, very smart, very trivial person and chances are they also work for the government. That's the world card energy here. This person is uh, finishing something also energetically wise with the conversation that you guys are having. So they message you, you message them back, and then it's a very loving. Like it ends with like an emoji, it ends with a smiley, it ends with with something comforting, something that is caring. This is how the as every time you guys messages like that. Very, very loving nature here. You're so into you, I can tell. With the world card, all about you. Okay. Now this person, okay, in your fourth house energy here, um, I feel like either you or this person, because uh, it's you, looking at different options for a job, mm -hmm. you're trying to look at like, okay, should I do this, should I do that? Um, there's a lot of um, choices being opened up to you also, but this involves relocating, this involves um, a change of um, heart, okay? There's a lot of doors opening up to you right now here. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> but this is that one. With... Mm -hmm. Doors are opening. Mm. With the Seven of Cups, I feel like the energy with your heart, you're trying to understand also how much do you love this person. Or in your dating house. Got five pentacles. Hmm, I wonder what happened. You got confused because things were going well and they weren't, you know, they, they were so into you. But recently, okay, you know, there's no passion. And then now you felt ignore and then now you feel like, okay, then what do I do? Because it was going really, really well, Sal. But now we are in the Five of Pentacles. We haven't been dating each other. We haven't been talking. And now... You're looking at it's like, okay, then what should I do? Do I date new people? Do I see other people with the Seven of Cups? Because, you know, it can be the distance that your guys are having difficulty. Because, you know, like when you message, it's like, you know, it's loving, but it's not enough. Five of Pentacles is feeling, you know, dirt poor, you know, not making fun of poor people, but dirt poor with regards to communication. It's like, it's so slim. It's good when it lasted, but it doesn't last long, okay? And then now we're here, so, Five of Pentacles. I don't know what to do with the Seven of Cups because they're not talking to me. They haven't been expressing themselves. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what I, 
last time you had a change of heart. And this is what you're still, I feel like, trying to understand here. Okay. Let me see here what the girl there is saying. It's not knowing your purpose, it's living your purpose. Okay. So ask yourself why you are still with this person. What's the purpose of the relationship that you guys have? Okay, this is very chitra ish. Okay. Why are you still um, involved? Is it because of love? Because if it's love, then you should stay. And you have to live with that choice. If that's your purpose to love this person, then you have to live with it. It's a choice that you're going to make here. But you're going to a very deep interest, you know, I said introspective when you're trying to analyze this. You're here, Seven of Cups. You're here. You're stuck in your heart, not knowing how to proceed, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward towards your seventh house with the partnership. And then we'll move all the energies also in the other side. And then we'll put things together. Thank you very much, Libra, for watching. I'll see you again. Bye. Get a nine of cups. Okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Eight of wands. So. Right now. So that they know where they stand. They will understand it better if you make a decision now.